Hey everyone and welcome back. Tom Cornelius here, application engineer at 3M. Today's topic is going to be mixing and spreading the body filler following the 3M standard operating procedures. Now that we've properly cleaned and sanded our repair area, we're ready to spread our body filler. A couple important considerations are going to be, as mentioned in the previous video, we want to mix and spread our body filler as soon as possible onto the bare metal area. We want to do this immediately after we sand down the bare metal and re-clean the substrate to avoid any onset of oxidation or flash corrosion. Once we're ready to mix and spread our body filler, a couple considerations are going to be, first off, mixing on a clean mixing board. We don't recommend the use of cardboard, which can lead to contamination. Another thing to consider is whether or not you're using expired product. Obviously, we don't recommend using anything that's expired, so check the label on your can, check your hardener. Once we've taken our body filler and applied it to our mixing board, we're ready to add the hardener, but before we do so, we wanna knead the hardener and make sure it's thoroughly mixed. If the hardener separates or has a grainy appearance, we recommend that you throw the hardener away and grab a new tube. Chances are good that that hardener is expired. Once we apply the body filler to the mixing board, our recommendation is a 50 to one or 2% mix ratio. A good ballpark is for roughly a three inch mix. We're just gonna take a bead of hardener, just an average size bead, and we're gonna go across the diameter of the body filler. At that point, you're gonna have a good ballpark idea on that 2%, and at that point, you're ready to start mixing. When we go to mix our body filler, we wanna fold and flatten the body filler. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but the biggest thing is we don't wanna stir the body filler, which can introduce air and lead to pinholes. We wanna fold and flatten the material. We're looking to get a nice uniform color. Common question is, how long do I mix? We mix until we have a nice uniform color. Once we have a uniform color, our recommendation and a good pro tip is to spread the body filler flat across the mixing board to force out any additional air that might be in the mix. This can also extend the work time, assuming that your environment is in standard conditions. In hot and humid climates, we may not have time to actually spread across the mixing board, but in average climates, this is a good recommendation again to get rid of all that air and also extend our work time. When we go to actually spread the body filler on the substrate, the first step is going to be what we call a tight coat. So we're gonna add additional pressure to the spreader as we flatten out the body filler on the substrate itself. We wanna wet out the body filler, make good contact with the surface. This helps build adhesion as we're spreading the body filler, and further, it's gonna force out any additional air. After we've spread our tight coat, we're ready to lay down our build coats. And what we do is simply release pressure and we start building the material over the damaged area until we have adequately filled the area. At this point, we can taper off the outside of the body filler to help knock down those spreader trails. And after this, we should be good to let this body filler cure and we'll come back and begin the sanding process. Well, that wraps it up for our body filler application. Hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. If you did, hit the like button. You can feel free to subscribe or share or comment. For more videos like this, check out the 3M Collision Repair Academy and we'll see you in the next video.